Police here in Germany are blaming arson after a suspected attack on Tesla's European plant near Berlin. A far-left militant group is claiming responsibility. The electricity supply was cut off and production shut down. This coincides with environmentalist efforts to stop Tesla from expanding the factory. CEO Elon Musk tweeted the activists, quote, are either the dumbest eco-terrorists on Earth or they're puppets of those who don't have good environmental goals. Stopping production of electric vehicles rather than fossil fuels vehicles is extreme dumb. In English, that means it's really dumb. A spokesperson says the German government strongly condemns attacks on infrastructure. Police vans near the Tesla plant, just outside the German capital, Berlin. A fire broke out at a high voltage electricity pylon which led to a power failure. Authorities believe it was an act of sabotage. The state criminal police are investigating on suspicion of arson and are investigating all leads. A far-left militant group has claimed responsibility in a message posted online. The power outage forced Tesla to halt its production and evacuate workers. For us, this really is an attack on this industrial site here in Brandenburg. We have over 12,000 employees who can't work at the moment. This incident comes as the electric car maker is facing protests against its expansion plans at the plant. Environmental activists are occupying a nearby forest, putting up tents and building tree houses as part of the Stop Tesla movement. We've occupied this forest because Tesla which is building electric cars here in its Gigafactory 4, also wants to buy and clear this area of forest. We've occupied the forest to stop this. The environmental activists have issued a statement distancing themselves from the suspected arson attack. Tesla says production won't resume before next week and it expects the losses to run to several hundred million euros. And I'm joined now by our political correspondent, Hans Brandt, who has just returned from the factory. Hans, bring us up to date. What do we know? Well, uh, there's very little going on at the factory at the moment. We just heard about the 12,000 employees. There's very little to be seen of those 12,000 employees. Hands full of people are leaving or, or entering the building, presumably doing um, a sort of uh, cleaning work or that sort of thing. I spoke to some people who said that they just come in to have a look uh, how things are going and when they might be able to return to their jobs, but they were not able to say that either. Uh, it's likely to take uh, several days for the factory to start again at the moment. There are still emergency generators running there. There's still an emergency lighting system having uh, been put up and also emergency systems for all those Tesla electric cars to be uh, recharged as they are standing uh, on the parking lot in front of the factory. I also spoke to those um, environmentalists that have occupied a forest just outside the factory um, and they confirmed uh, what we've just heard that uh, they um, oppose uh, such attacks on infrastructure, uh, violent attacks on Tesla, even though they uh, are not very happy with the fact that the factory is there and that it is planning to expand. Um, the right, uh, I mean, the extreme left-wing group that, uh, that committed this attack uh, or that uh, issued a, a statement saying that it had done so um, clearly has a, a different agenda, something anti-capitalist maybe, and, uh, and also accusing Tesla of, uh, of being exploitative, of destroying the environment and so on, a whole gamut uh, of accusations, none of which really makes much sense, frankly. Yeah. And how disruptive is this for Tesla's operation here in Germany and how damaging could it be for the brand? Well, uh, we calculate, or the, the factory manager calculates, that about 1,000 vehicles have been produced every day. So we get up to about 7,000 a week and uh, the factory is likely to be shut down for about a week. So you multiply by, by that by the... Uh, price uh, for those vehicles that cannot be produced and cannot be sold now and you get to those several hundred million dollars or euros uh, that the 
uh, company will lose. As uh, in terms of Tesla's reputation, there is still some criticism amongst residents in the area who are also not entirely happy about the factory being there. At the same time, it has a lot of support because it employs a lot of people and it uh, brings in a lot of taxes, obviously, uh, for the region and for the German uh, state. Yeah. Do you think this is likely to put off other international companies looking into setting up shop here in Germany? Well, I think the German government is concerned about this, although a government spokesman tried to downplay such fears today. Uh, and government spokesmen have been saying that they want to increase protection for critical infrastructure. That means for the electricity supply for such a factory, for instance, and also for crucial industrial um, uh, organizations. Uh, but that's something that's still a bit off in the future. And I think there is some concern here in Germany um, that other international investors might think twice about actually spending a lot of money to invest here in this country. Those DWs. Hans Brandt, many thanks.